Someone who thinks that they're trolling just said, are you aware that Almighty Tevin has like over a thousand Twitch subs? Would you congratulate him? Yes. If this is true, congratulations to Tevin. That is an accomplishment. That's a big one. You know, I've been there. I've had that. And that's a huge accomplishment. And I'm glad for him. I'm happy for him. You want to know why I'm happy for him? Because he did it without fucking totally just ripping on me constantly. I challenged him. To do that, I said, hey, sir, if I feel that you're talented, I feel that you have a following, and if you can entertain people without doing negative, disgusting, toxic content about me, I would applaud that. So he apparently doesn't restream me anymore, right? He doesn't. For what I'm to understand, he makes original content now. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to officially congratulate Tevin on his success for breaking out and doing something positive with himself and his time and being successful at it, because that's what it's about. And I'm actually happy for him. If this is the case, what I'm hearing is true, I'm happy for the guy. There you go. I'm not going to have sour grapes because the guy used to fucking make fun of me and be nasty to me and toxic to me and my family. Instead, I'm going to say, congrats. Now, what I would ask is that if he has any leftover toxic shit that he's doing with me, that he stop. You know? Like, I know that sometimes I've heard that he still uses emotes of... You know, people, and it's fucked up that he does that without permission, especially because it's not me, but it's people who used to be associated with me. He shouldn't be doing that. That's completely messed up that he would do that. I would hope that he'd be smart enough to not do that moving forward and to, to stop doing that. You know, but I can't make him do anything, so... Let me get the vest before people start complaining, by the way. Let me get the vest. Can I play and not talk? It's my stream and I'll do what the fuck I want. How about that, dickhead? <laughs> How about that? If you want, here, here's what I'll do. I'll pause the game and I'll go to the menu. Here, I'll, I'll look at my fucking notifications. Here, I'll sit here and I'll pick my nose on stream if I want. It's my stream, so fuck off. This fucking guy being a jerk. <laughs> well, W Day Day resub for 12 months it would have been a celebration because it would have been a year resub of course there's no more celebration because there's no more subs here on twitch thanks to twitch and in ww says i was literally at one year sub and man seriously f twitch for doing this this here's here what i feel is unfair how is there no power by a, a content creator to get any kind of recourse for something like this right so i don't get told what i did wrong i don't even get told i did anything wrong i'm just told you're out of the program no way to talk to them to get any answers. I tried. I was ignored. Right? Like, it's just ridiculous. It's zero. Zero power. I could work on your site and bring you content for eight years. I could make you money for four and a half years. And you just kick me out of the program nonchalantly with, like, not a second thought. It's the way I make a living. Oh, fuck off. I don't care. Right? What is that? What kind of a company even at behaves like that? I mean it. I mean it. Like, that's bullshit. And that's just freedom of speech for me to be able to say that. I don't care. Oh, you're like, oh, you're still streaming on Twitch. So what? They fucked me over, man. There's no excuse for what they did to behave like that. It would have been one thing if they said, here's proof you fucked up, you broke the rules of the program, you're out. Fine. Not, nah, you're just out, nothing, no response, we don't care. I think, you want to know what I think it is? I think that they are afraid of being sued. As I actually told you guys, there was that guy who just won a lawsuit uh, against Twitch. He had been suing them for an excess of five plus years. I think it was like 2013 or something like that. He got banned from Twitch because they accused him of trading skins in Counter-Strike Go. Um, or not trading skins, like gambling with skins. Something to do with the skins. I don't even understand it because I don't play Counter-Strike Go. I don't understand why anyone values these skins. But this guy got into trouble. And they they basically banned him from the entire site claiming that he was doing this. Apparently, he actually wasn't. Apparently, it was a completely false claim. But there was enough hearsay that they thought that he did it. Um, and they banned him from the site and kicked him out of everything. He sued them for, like, a ridiculous amount of money. Like, he wanted tons of money. Millions. He won, like, $20,000. So he spent, like, seven, eight years of his life on this litigation with Twitch to win $20,000. You see what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous that, uh, that, that, that something like that turns out like that. To me, there's no absolutely no way I'm go ever going to take any recourse against it. I can't. There's nothing I can do. It's out of my power. Twitch has the right 
to terminate at any any time. I just wish that there was a justification for it, not just, oh, you're out and we don't have to tell you anything. To me, that's fucked up because now here I am scrambling this month, trying to make ends meet, trying to pay my bills, pay my mortgage and everything because I'm not going to get that payment I depend on every month. And now I got to try to shuffle around and say, gee, am I going to continue to be on Twitch full time? I want to. I like being here. I think this is the best streaming site. But now look at all the changes and the things we're going to have to do to make up for the fact that there's no partner program. Do I say goodbye to Twitch? I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but I guess we got to find, we got to figure something out, right? But I agree with you, W Day Day. Like, again, there's, there's, there's a difference between you did something wrong. Here's what you did wrong. Here's your punishment. Or you just get punished. And I'm not even going to tell you what you did wrong. Too bad. Imagine this. Imagine you're in school. You're sitting there and someone grabs you by the neck and says, you're expelled and throws you out the front door, locks the door. You're done. You can't come back to the school ever again. What? Why? What happened? Oh, too bad. Bye. See you later in, an, in another life. That's literally what it's like. Just being pulled and just thrown out. What, what happened? Oh, well, tough shit. You don't even, you know, what? <laughs> I don't get it. I totally don't get it. Anyway, it is what it is. That's life, right? It's life. I guess, I guess in life I found out that I will just basically be treated like dirt for the rest of my life and there's no way really around it. I, I mean, it's how it's been. Everywhere I've been, it's been like that, right? Every, every fucking place. And especially if you try to stick up for yourself. In this case, it had nothing to do with that. But you try to stick up for yourself. Like, I, the whole thing with Machinima, that company was treating me like dirt. And I said, why are you treating me like this? I don't understand. Like, why are you being so, so awful to me? And then they fucking cancel my contract. It's like, what? You're mistreating me. I ask you, why are you be doing this to me? And then you cancel my contract. Like, what the fuck? These people are terrible, man. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, enough of that baloney. <clears throat> enough of that baloney, okay? Foxy Ari, the thing is, I want to stay here because of the community I built here. Not necessarily because I was mistreated. I mean, yeah. What it is is I've got Stockholm Syndrome, and I look to stay places where I'm treated like crap, right? No, of course not. No, I want to, to be where my community is. And my community is here. At four and a half years, I built this community up from the ground up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a really great community. And people are supportive. And people like hanging out with me every night. <clears throat> and it basically makes it so that it feels like this is a, like a, a, a family of friends who just come and chill at night when I, when I hang out with you guys. I know if I go to YouTube, it's going to change. This chat's going to be completely uncontrollable. It's going to be huge challenge to make that a manageable situation where we can have a good time on a stream. I just know it. I know it. So, I that's why I don't want to leave. Even with, even with the situation going on here, where I know that I've been mistreated and I feel like things are, are, are uh, you know, going on like this, I still want to stay here because I want, it's for you guys. You know what I mean? It's for you guys that I want to stay here. Batting four. If it, trust me, if this were just about money, I would be on YouTube already. If this were 100% just about money, that's where I would be already. Because right now, I can tell you right now, I know I'm making less now than I was when I had subs and cheers and everything enabled. But I want us to have good streams. That's the utmost thing that I care about before anything else is that the streams are good. Then we worry about the money aspect of it. Okay? Excuse me, it's absolutely disgusting. I, was, I gotta ban someone, though. Danny, no one knows why I got the partner. Absolutely no one. He's a, he, Danny used to come by all the time, and he hasn't been here in a while, and he's asking why I got the partner. No one knows. I was the partner. They sent me a generic form letter email, and all the email said was, we are terminating your, your contract per the terms of the agreement, which essentially means we have the right to terminate it. We're just terminating it. There was no an, uh, reference to why in the letter that I got. I wrote uh, help logs, got no response at all, then I wrote another help log asking, well, all right, well, if I'm departnered, are you going to pay me for the work that I did in April that I earned money for, subs, cheers, and everything, to which I got a response, oh, we don't handle that anymore because you're not part of the partner program. We don't handle anything like that. You got to talk to our legal team. So I emailed the legal team almost a week ago. They didn't respond. So it's obviously that no one's going to, that, that's the thing. It's, it's literally the cold shoulder r routine. You know, I guess I guess at this point we can call it the doctor disrespect treatment. So it seems like that's exactly what happened to him last year. Right? No, it doesn't. Boy, comic fan is stupid. He says, because it said per the terms of your agreement in the email, it means you violated the agreement. 
That's not what it means. It means you had an agreement, there were terms, and in the terms it said they can terminate the contract for any reason, so they did. It doesn't mean that you did anything wrong per the terms. It didn't say per the violations of the term in the agreement. It just said there were terms in the agreement, and, and we can cancel it now. That's all it was. <laughs> People are so dumb. They want, they want to believe every controversial conspiracy theory. So, oh, well, that message from them definitely means that you violated the agreement. There's nothing in that message that says it. Nothing in that message says anything about a violation of the agreement. Nothing. You're full of it. <laughs> Danny, I agree with you. He says, even if you did do a violation of the agreement, they should at least give you a warning before because this is your livelihood. I agree. Like, they, I've never, ever, in the entirety of the time that I've been on Twitch, been told that I violated anything in the partner agreement. It's always been you violated, like, a general term of service thing. And they would tell me, okay, here's a warning, here's a, a day suspension or whatever. And the most I think I ever got was a three-day suspension that they actually lifted early. And that was, like, three years ago. So here I am, years, nothing negative at all, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, you're out of here, you're out of the partnership. What? That's how I make my living. Too bad. They don't care. That's what I mean. Like, I agree with people that, yeah, it's kind of messed up that I'm just trying to stay here because obviously these people who are here mistreated me. I don't think anyone could argue with that. How could you not argue that that's a mistreatment to, to try to destroy someone's livelihood and not tell them why you're doing it, right? Um, but again, I want to be here for you guys. I want to be here for this community. Okay. Comic fans are complete moron and he's out of here. He doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. He doesn't understand the difference between the terms of service agreement and a partnership contract agreement. They're completely different. You guys are moron. <laughs> Yikes, you're stupid. Bleach Lumber 9, I don't know what I would do if I go to YouTube because I know that that chat is pretty much uncontrollable. Some people have suggested just doing members only chat which essentially would be the equivalent of doing sub only chat here but i don't necessarily want to do that like you know what i mean like i made it nice i scored i don't know if i want to do that i like having open chat where i can talk with everyone and i don't know if that's manageable over on youtube or not you know i don't know what to do i really don't there's a, no, Chai Guy, there's a ways to moderate the YouTube chat, in particular it's bot botting, like putting Nightbot in there and stuff, but it's so uncontrollable. First of all, people can easily make an insane amount of fake accounts and go in there and say disgusting shit constantly. When you finally ban them, they just immediately come back with another account. It's like so easy to do over there. It's not even hard at all. Um, the chat is not really a chat. It's just a series of comments on a video, essentially. So it's the same as the comment system on YouTube. Which already is bad, so it's almost unmanageable. It really is bad. Like, I know it would be completely bad maybe for a few months. It would probably be like from now until like the fall. The entire summer will be learning how to use this fucking thing at any kind of a usable capacity. And then maybe finally, by the time that the stuff comes out in the fall, maybe we would have a handle on it. But that's the thing. I know that sense of community that we have here, these conversations that we have here on Twitch, they're going to go away for a while. While I try to figure out how to use the site. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay. Pretentious pairings, you're about to get permanently banned, just so you know. I just had enough of your shit tonight. I'm being a dick. Well, Danny has sent me $5. Says, have a great rest of the night. Definitely going to try to tune in more often, but things have been hectic lately. Sorry to hear about that deep partner. I hope it gets settled soon. I mean, there's really nothing to settle. It's, it's not going to get better. I'm not getting the partnership back. It's gone. What's gone is gone. It's a matter of me figuring out how to move forward and keep doing what I'd love to do. Whether it's now people have to basically support me more via tipping and pay, pledging to my Patreon, so I revamp my Patreon, and I do other things to get the emotes back here, which I know some things I can do. Or if it's a matter of saying I, I'm not going to stay here anymore and I go to YouTube, I still i am kind of undecided on that. So uh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. And thank you, Danny, for being here tonight. Thank you for the support, man, and the conversation. I appreciate it. Polish Frog, what do you think? If I if I have no access to a revenue page to apply for anything, and if Twitch staff won't respond to my request on what's going on, what do you think the chances are that I can reapply for fucking affiliate or partner? Like, what do you think? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, 
Mandalorian Warlord, I've already explained a million times why I'm not rushing to YouTube to stream or multi-stream. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. I mean, I literally addressed this earlier today, several times on my earlier stream. I feel like, uh, people need to get the gunk out of their ears. I am sweating in this goddamn vest. Admittedly, I'm happy I'm wearing this tonight because if I was wearing this tomorrow, we're on Resident Evil. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's too hot, man. It's too freaking hot in this vest. This vest is for winter only. It really is like, it's heavy, heavy padding in it. And it really heats your body up like 15 degrees. I'm sweating. My whole back is covered in disgusting sweat. It's gross. I'm soaked. I'm soaked through. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thumbs up. Appreciate that very much, guys. Very nice. Thank you guys very much. I hope... You guys will join me. Resident Evil Village starting tomorrow. Everyone have a good evening. I'll see you in the AM, all right? Peace out. Have a good night. I'll leave you with the Resident Evil music to play us out. See you later.